Well, hi guys, this is uh, something we're doing different. Um, and we're starting off in saltgrass. So we are gonna do uh, saltgrass versus longhorns. Um, and I'm gonna try and get the same steak in both, or as close as I can. Uh, and then I'm gonna review it, review the price, and let you know what I think um, as a committed meat eater, um, where I'd go. Uh, so let me just show you what I'm gonna have. I'm going for, if you can see that, the bone-in ribeye. Uh, it's 21 ounce, it's there. Uh, 21 ounce and it's 46.49. Um, it's, it's, it's a massive uh, a treat for me, this one. Um, I'm only going to be doing two, one here and one at Long Horns. Um, however, something they don't offer, I don't believe they offer at uh, Long Horns, is going to be smother your steak. Um, with sautéed mushrooms, grilled onions and garlic butter which is there for an extra $3.29 so, uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do I've heard a lot about this place um, and uh, I wanted to do a vlog about a, you know, a, a reasonably priced good uh, um, steak uh, people seem to like long horns people seem to like this place so I want to find out what's the best um, so this is the first one up, we've not been to uh, Longhorns yet this trip, so we are going to go obviously. Um, so yeah, when, it, when, the, uh, when the food comes I'll show you the food um, and then in true McMaster style uh, I'll mark this out of 10 um, outside. Uh, I, I may, we'll see how I play this yet, but I, I may put it straight after this bit. Uh, I may put it after the footies that were taking long horns, um, but either way, uh, yeah, you'll, I'll let you know my honest opinion. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be as good as everybody says it is. Um, so when it comes, uh, we've not even ordered it yet, but we'll, when we do, when it comes, I'll show it you. Um, I'll show the main vlog as well because obviously we are vlogging tonight as well. But this is just a bit of a uh, an extra. So I'll bring you back when the food arrives. Well, I've just had the soup. Um, that was lovely, really nice. Uh, it's part of the, the meal. So um, yeah, that's, that's gone, really nice. Um, it's probably not gonna be fair to judge the soups um, with long horns because this came, comes with it. Um, I'm sure you have to uh, uh, purchase the, the, the long run soup separately. Um, but I didn't have the, the potato on last time, Nick did, so uh, hang on. What do you think to this soup? Long soup wins. It's yep. nice, it's nice, very nice, but long ones, that soup was dream. <coughs> okay, no, I, I, I get you, I, and to be fair, um, uh, it's going to be for me the French onion soup. Uh, um, uh, that's just my thing. Um, although that soup was really, really tasty. The one nice we've had in salt grass. It. Yeah, it's got a, a lovely kick to it. Um, two big old chunks of potato in there. Uh, very nice. Uh, but that's not why I'm here. We know why I'm here. Uh, and it's on its way. Oh, yes. Uh, so, yeah, well, uh, I'll bring you back when it gets it. As for this uh, medium rare, that looks good to me. It does look good to me. Can you see that? Yeah. I think so. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to put a bit of the garlic butter on it. Here we go. Good job because you have a lot of it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna be fine. Yeah, if, if we don't, if we forget to close off the vlog, it's because Craig's in some kind of meat coma. Can you see that? Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. 
Right. Like Craigie that length. Oh my word. <laughs> we'll be back when it's all done. Say bye-bye. Bye. There you go. Uh, it never stood a chance. Never stood a chance. Uh, Nick's dead. Um, the man didn't have months on that. Oh, wow. So, uh, I'm going to leave you in suspense. I'm not going to tell you what I thought, but obviously, it was very good. Um, so, we're going to uh, finish up here. Oh, I don't want the dessert. Uh, yeah, we'll finish up here. Um, and then I'll we'll tell you what I thought. We'll, we'll see about that. You keep telling yourself that, darling. Uh, yeah, uh, it was really good. Um, yours? Country fried steak? It was very nice, first time trying it. Uh, There's just so much. So much. Yeah, uh, I'm just, since I'm just a gammy. I can't breathe. I don't know how you can breathe right now. Uh, <laughs> because, I mean, I'm on steak, Kevin. Love me some steak. Uh, the bone in ribeye. You saw what I had, you saw how big it was. Uh, so there you go. The next uh, next time you see of this particular vlog will be in Longhorns. And... Uh, Gonna be <laughs> I can't lose, but yeah, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a great idea. Uh, I just didn't bring a little bottle of stuff that I brought with me, but uh, I can do that on a different day. Okay, so we're gonna uh, we'll leave you now, and uh, we'll see you uh, for you next clip for us in a few days. See you later. Well, welcome to part two: saltgrass versus longhorns. As you can see, where at long ones now uh, we're just going to go in find out what we're uh, well i know what i'm having um find out what uh, what nick's going to have we'll bring you back when we get in there i know you've probably seen the menu a million times but here it is again uh the date is uh, 11th of march 2024 so you can see the prices now um, I kind of know what I'm having anyway. Uh, that bad boy, the French onion soup. Uh, that's Florida obsessed fault, uh, but she's right. Uh, there you go. Can you see that? There's like a new menu. It's bouncing out the door. What, uh, what we've got at the minute and for a change there's no copyright music which is lovely uh, I won't be having a dessert because I won't be able to move after this but that's fine there you go uh, so yeah you probably know uh, um, you, well you will know because you've seen the title uh, this is saltgrass uh, versus longhorns. Uh, I want to know which did the best ribeye. Um, and we've already done the saltgrass one, you've just seen. Uh, I've had a ribeye here before. Um, you've, that's in one of the, uh, the older vlogs. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do this now. Um, I'm not going to compare the soups because last time the soup came with uh, in salt grass, the soup comes with the starter. Uh, sorry, with the steak. Uh, this is something you buy on its own. Uh, but what we will do is compare the value uh, and the prices um, when we when we get it, and that's so you can see. And then make your own mind up. I'll give you my take on it, and we'll go from there. Right, I'll bring you back when uh, the food. Well, when either when Nick's made a mind of what she wants, um, or when the food actually arrives. See you in a bit. Here we are, they brought it out. Wow. Show you. And again, that's my hand. Not exactly great for, uh, there we go. 
There's the foam. Uh, this is a 20 ounce, um, and the one, thank you, uh, the one at Saltgrass was a 21 ounce, um, both bone in. Uh, look amazing. The only difference I can see with the mashed potatoes is that the uh, there's not skin on. So first off, a quick go at the mash. The mash is nice. Um, it's not garlicky like the uh, salt grass one, but we're not here for that. We're here for the steak. So yeah, just one second. Okay, here we go. This is medium uh, rare. Let's show you. Let's start the pack. guessing but I'm not going to keep you guessing this just wins the taste of this steak is better uh, than salt grass in my very humble opinion yeah the taste of this is better it wins uh, it beats salt grass in my opinion this is a 10 out of 10 salt grass is a 9 out of 10 and but I'll carry on, I'll, I'll explain a, a, a little more about it when we get outside. Uh, but this wins. Gordon Bennett. Let me show you what I've left. Now, I know that's a bigger bone um, than was in the saltgrass one, but that's why it was tastier. Uh, that's just mental. That's such a such a tasty steak. It's just so tasty. Um, I'd like to add that that's the first meal that hasn't tasted too salty. Oh yeah, yeah. Nick's been uh, noticing it's quite salty the stuff over here, but absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's, it's perfect. The chicken is juicy. Everything about that is perfect. I just should not have had the bread, the salad, and the soup. I'm so. <laughs> Right, okay, that, that, that server came back, she's lovely. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll, exp I'll tell you, when we get outside and, and uh, we've got a bit more time, uh, I'll run through it in detail. Um, but I'm done now, uh, suffice to say, we're going to need another crane um, for something to, to get us out of this, because it's insane. Uh, but it's so good. But again, yeah, I'll, I'll run you through it when we get out. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, well, we're back in the room now. Um, I just want to give my final verdict. Uh, yeah, it's got to be long horns for us. Um, the steak was so much tastier um, than the saltgrass one. I did ask her what seasoning they used, and I don't know whether she's taking the mickey or not. But she said the seasoning they use is called prairie dust, um, but it's so much more flavourful uh, than the saltgrass one. So. Yeah, and overall, uh, the price was better. Um, the the service was just as good, um, but the, yeah, you get so much more um, for your money in Longhorns. Uh, um, so yeah, the in answer to who does the best uh, cowboy ribeye or bone-in ribeye uh, with salt grass or Longhorns, it's Longhorns for us. Uh, I mean, tell me what you think. Uh, am I am I wrong? Uh, do you, do you like salt grass? Is it more flavourful? Um, I know it, it's an ounce bigger, um, and the bone was bigger on the uh, uh, the long ones one, but it, it's not ten dollars uh, um, in price. Uh, even when you add the price on of the soup, uh, um, you get a bigger soup as well. When you buy it, it was five ninety nine for the soup in long ones. 
um, and the French onion soup is just amazing. Uh, so yeah, Longhorns wins for us. Uh, nothing against Saltgrass; it's a perfectly great place to go. Um, but the tastiest steak or the tastiest ribeye, uh, it is definitely Longhorns by a country mile for me. Okay, well I hope this helped people. Uh, um, if you did like it, leave us a like. Um, if you could consider subscribing, that'd be wonderful. I know uh, I met a few of you uh, out here who were, who were what, you know, somebody said they were a lurker. They just watch. Um, so yeah, if you could subscribe, it does help the channel greatly. Uh, and if there's any more of these sort of comparison videos you want to see, let me know. I'll speak to you soon.